In some more breaking news coming in under fire, Congress leader Saifuddin Soz sticks to his gun. Now he backs the Congress leader Hulam Nabi Azad. So says that Armed Forces Special Powers Act, ARPSPA, is misused by the army to kill civilians. Saifuddin Soz uh, says that the BJP is uh, playing sectarian politics. We have an uh, uh, interview with uh, uh, Saifuddin Soz, the Congress leader. Let's just listen as to what he has to say. So Surjay Bala, Surjay Bala is wrong. He has not read my book. Let him read the last uh, five chapters. Right. How do they differ with me? I say, Sardar Patel consistently offered Kashmir to Pakistan. And Surjay Bala should know that when the Union's army landed at Srinagar, mm. Shalting precisely, on 27th of October, uh, uh, 1947, that very evening, Lord Mountbatten travelled to Lahore to offer Kashmir to Pakistan on behalf of Sardar Patel, the strong man of India. And that, that's uh, why this, the why belief comes that Kashmir is an integral part of India and the government has always maintained that. What you say, uh, firstly you say that Sardar Patel was the one who mooted that Kashmir should uh, be offered to Pakistan in lieu of Hyderabad. Yes. But the fact is that uh, the statement that you make is, in, is direct contrary to the fact that Kashmir is an integral part of India. You say that the Musharraf form formula is a workable listen, formula. Listen, listen. I don't, I'm not going to quarrel with those who says Kashmir is an integral part of India in the sense that the entire thing belongs to India. You cannot get it but through war. It, no. does it not? No, no. A P, P A K cannot be, you see, uh, cannot get to you without fighting a war. And war will be nuclear war. And Pakistan and India are not only two closest neighbors, but they are nuclear powers with second strike capability. If we are nuclear, Pakistan is also nuclear. Masmi joins us live on this broadcast. Masmi, historically debatable views of Saifuddin Soz, but politically a very tough one for Congress to swallow. That's right. That's a googly that has been thrown at the Congress party from within. And it's Saifuddin Soz who's sticking to his guns. He not only comes out in support of Azad, but let me tell you that days ahead could be stormy for the Congress because BJP has uh, taken this opportunity to hit out at the Congress. And on Monday, Saifuddin Soz would be launching his book. And uh, the one to inaugurate would be none other than the former Home Minister, Finance Minister, P. Chidambaram. He's also extended his invite to Dr. Manmohan. Mohan Singh and other top leaders of the Congress party including Azad. Hmm. So interestingly it would uh, it remains to be seen whether these leaders actually attend uh, uh, the, the, the event while the Congress actually distances itself from Soza's remark. And uh, Masmi P. Chidamram in fact went on to the social networking site Twitter and condemned the various statements which were made by Arun Jaitley against Rahul Gandhi. And Kashmir right now is a very sensitive issue. We are going to have polls, the state polls anytime soon. So Congress will have to be very careful the way it postures itself. If P. Chidambaram or Manmohan Singh or any other top brass leader of the Congress goes to that book launch, it will be an armor for the BJP. In fact, uh, P. Chidambaram, uh, P. Chidambaram has already confirmed that he would be attending. He's the chief guest of honor, so he's already attending that event. Hmm. And in fact, the way Anusha, this entire, uh, within a week after the breakup of the BJP and the PDP, the entire political scene has spun around for the Congress is really a worrying factor for it because with Azad and Souza's statement, the BJP, which was on a back foot, hmm. ha has come into an attacking mode because the Congress had decided to uh, put the BJP on the scanner for its weak Kashmir policy mm. and for blaming the PDP. Mm. But with these statements of top leaders and Kashmiri leaders, the Congress now is in the back foot and it remains to be seen how they salvage themselves out of this position considering the fact that Amit Shah is also in Jammu, in, in Jammu and they, uh, the BJP is looking very closely at J the state of Jammu and Kashmir as right. one of its core states uh, to strengthen its force. Well, as uh, Masmi points out, P. Chidamram has already confirmed himself as the guest of honor for that book launch. And we need to see if there is a last minute flip flop because Congress and BJP both are very keenly and politically looking at the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Thank you so much, Masmi, for getting us all those details.
In some more breaking news coming in, intelligence agencies report to the Ministry of Home Affairs they warned of a pro-ISIS women group. Dalat islam being active in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, it's a group of women which are associated with the terrorist outfit and were found allegedly giving speeches supporting the ISIS ideology in parts of the valley. Intelligence has informed MHA that the activities of Dalat islam members in the valley first came to light after one terrorist, Esa Fazli, was killed in February on Feb 27 in Anantana. So there's a security alert there which has come in right now. The Intel report which has warned of a pro-ISIS women group in JNK. Sudhir Ranjan Sens joins us uh, on this broadcast. Sudhir, as you report, the pro-ISIS group is a threat across Valley. Give us more details as to is this a part of the hit list or the list which the army has come out right now? Is it a new addition? Put it into perspective for us, please. Well, I mean, the hit list aside, there has been, you know, we've, what we have been seeing is increasing number of people being inspired by a very radical philosophy, a radical idea uh, of uh, Islam and trying to adopt it and trying to enforce it in some places. And that is a cause of worry. Uh, in fact, this is not the first time there have been concerns within the security agencies hmm. about the spread of an ISIS kind of philosophy in, uh, in uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Mind you, it is not only Jammu and Kashmir that has this tendency or where we have found people, young boys and girls being, you know, kind of enthused by the ide uh, IS ideology and, you know, volunteering it. It is not that the Islamic State has sent people into India to recruit. Right. But it is just that people have been enthused and taken up by the ideology and started following it. Right. Uh, so similarly in Jammu and Kashmir, there are indications of the same thing. And a, and an alert has been sent out to people at the security agency. So they, just to understand it in a broader context, these intel reports, as you point out, have been repeatedly coming in of an ISIS type attack or the groups being active. Is it any worse from the past? Because you have Hezbollah, Lashkar and many other terrorist groups operating in the valley. Now the ISIS. Is the ISIS presence, especially with the locals, getting stronger by the day? Is that the perception? No, I mean, any terror organization is a terror organization and the idea of any terror organization is to create fear and chaos amongst the people and, you know, kind of use, uh, use that to further their own political ideas. Uh, so, uh, it is, it is, it is, say, it is not nothing any different from Jaisha Muhammad trying to carry out an attack. But what is of concern is, while you have uh, direct evidence to suggest that the Jaisha Muhammad itself uh, working in you know, a house in Pakistan, has been sending out people into India, trying to recruit, trying to send in money. Hmm. It, is, it doesn't seem to be the case in, in the case of uh, the IS. Hmm. Uh, it is more people who are being infused by their ideology. Right. Uh, because mind you, uh, contrary to other forms of radical Islam, the yeah. ISIS says that you'll have a great time in, the, in Earth if you follow Sharia. Exactly. Yeah, so they points out that these uh, intelligence reports have come in and the security forces do have this time also the threat of the ISIS to tackle. Thank you, Sudhi, for getting us all those details. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of India Today. But for all the latest news and updates, don't forget to log on to our website, indiatoday.in. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.